Good morning to you. It is quite bright, but rather windy here today. So what have you been up to? How's your week been? What have you got in store for the weekend? It is Friday, of course. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make some very pretty necklaces. We've got four gorgeous colours for you to choose from using lovely little drops, a little kind of focal spacer at the front. Um, you're going to be able to make a very nice long necklace with this and then you're going to have enough in materials to make another one as well, maybe with just slightly less crystals. So you're going to get two necklaces out of your kits today and they've all been given a little discount so you're getting a pound off each of them as well. So drop me a comment, let me know what you're doing, what's the weather like and how you are. So Carol says hello, hello to you and our lovely Lucy's in as well. She says good morning lovely Natalie, hello Lucy. Good Good morning to Anne. She says good morning, Natalie, and everybody. Lucy's very pleased because she's seen pink. I always try and include a pink. I always try and include a blue and a purple as well if I can. Um, good morning to Sue. She says good morning from Sunny Homes Chapel. Oh, it's nice there, Sue. I've been there before. Good morning to Camille. She says good morning, Natalie. Dull here again. It's looking quite bright. Drawn the curtains crossed, so hopefully it don't look like I'm sitting in the dark, but there'll be no shadows on the mat. Um, good morning to Janice. She says it's wet and windy, windy in Swansea. Uh, so lovely and cosy in to do some beading. What a nice thing to do on a day where it might be a bit dull, it might be a bit dreary, it might be a bit windy outside. These are a really simple make, um, but I think they look very effective and they're very bright, sparkly and colourful. Good morning to Judith. She says good morning, Natalie and everybody. So I'm going to take you over to the website fairly quickly. Have a little look what's in the kit. I'll show you them down on the mat and then we'll get making. So off we go over to totallybeads.co.uk where you can find our fantastic website full of amazing goodies. How sweet are they? They are really spring-like. Um, be adding them to my basket. So head over into the video tutorial category. You can access it lots of different ways. And today we're doing the Zoe necklace. So here they are for you, four beautiful colors. You can choose from baby blue, hematite, pink, or tanzanite. So we've got a lovely little deal on for you today. They are $5.99 or $6.99 if you want the baby blue ones because those seed beads that we're using are a little bit more expensive in the baby blue, but they've all been discounted by a pound for you. So that's very nice, isn't it? So let's have a little look at the lovely baby blue one. In your kit today, as I say, you're going to be able to make up two necklaces. You've got Iger Tail. You're going to have two of your 12 millimeter lobster clasps. You've got your jump rings, your collots, your crimp beads. And you're using today these lovely crystal drop beads. So they are eight by 11 millimeters. Really lovely kind of faceted sparkle on them. Very, very pretty. They'll be in your matching colors. So your seed beads will also match them. We're using size 11 seed beads today. And we've got a very pretty Tibetan silver spacer tube bead. So you've got your measurements there. You're having 31 by four millimeters. I'll show you what that looks like. It's very, very nice. Got a lovely kind of dappled hammer effect on it. Um, and you're gonna get two pieces of that. So again, you can make two of them necklaces up. You can just vary the lengths or rather, vary the amount of your crystal drops that you're using in them. So tools are going to be pretty simple as well. Some cutters and some flat and chain nose pliers really just to open your jump rings up. We're going to be making a really simple make, but I do hope you like them. So that one is your baby blue one today. That one is £6.99. You can have a little look at it here, which is how it looks lying flat. So you can envision it, envision it on your uh, dressing table, or I don't know, wherever you store your jewelry, you might have a little jewelry box. Um, and that is what it looks like on. So that one is the Zoe necklace in baby blue. We've also got this lovely hematite one. I think I'm going to be probably demoing with this one today. I think it looks very sophisticated. And um, well, it'll go with my jumper. Um, but they've got a lovely pop of colour on these necklaces. So you can, you know, 
you can wear them with pretty much anything so again everything you need in your kit today to make up two necklaces this one is the beautiful hematite and that is just five pounds and 99 pence bargain for two necklaces bargain this one is your pink so hopefully it's pink enough for you it's very very pretty again i'll show you these on the mat so you can see those gorgeous gorgeous crystal drops are faceted very very sparkly do catch the light very nicely and look lovely with them little seed beads in all of your findings today are going to be in um rhodium so your crimp beads your clasp your clots all of that will be rhodium so they can tie in very nicely with that tibetan silver spacer tube so that's the pretty in pink one zoe necklace five pounds 99 pence for you today and then we've got the tanzanite so a little bit of kind of purpley color it's really really pretty i love the seed beads i love the color of very very pretty necklace really straightforward to do i think is very classic you can wear all seasons and i think all ages can wear this as well very very pretty so that one is your tanzanite and again that is just five pounds and 99 pence you're getting everything from your tiger tail all of your findings those beautiful crystal drop beads and your seed beads and your silver spacer tube so I hope you like them. Let me have a little check again in the comments so I can say hello to anybody who's just joined us. Let me see, let me see. I've got lots of you in now. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so Lucy's happy there was a pink one. Um, I have got to say hello to Judith. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Hello to you. Good morning to Sharon. She says, morning, creative beads and ears. It's bright and windy. Yeah, that's kind of how it is my end as well in Merseyside. Good morning to Elaine. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Lucy's dropped the link for you here. So this is what we're doing today. If you need to find this tutorial at any point, we're on totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash Zoe Necklace. And you can click on that link. It'll take you straight over to the video tutorials and you can buy your kits as well. Good morning to Angela. She says, good morning, Natalie, from a very windy grand town in Spain. Oh, on Spain. Grand town in Spain. I've never been there, I don't think, Angela. I hope you're well today. Good morning to Amelia. Good morning to Elaine. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Hello to Pauline. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. A lovely sunny day here. Um, Lucy is love, love, love the pink one. Good morning to Ruth. How are you doing? Good morning to Tracy. She says hello to everyone and she gives you all a little wave. Good morning to Sue. Um, and Anna is in a very, uh, I think that's windy Perth. Um, good morning to Camille. She says none of my colours though. We till you see the hematite Camille. I think it's very, 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 very pretty. Um, your colours are more kind of your warm oranges and reds, aren't they? You know, I do my best. I've got to use what we've got available. Good morning to Edward. Hello to Hannah. Um, <laughs> and Lucy, which I think is responding to Camille, says, you don't complain as much as I do. Don't all start complaining. By all means, send your suggestions in. What colours you like, what you'd like to do always happy to um to take that on board but yeah don't all start complaining in my life there's no yellow or there's no well I'll do my best um obviously when kitty puts her samples together um she will make like 30 colors of each thing she has a little bit of help in terms of often she'll have lots of lovely helpers helping her put the samples together and she's got a very good eye at being able to go that one looks good with that one um I do my best but i don't always have as many color choices hopefully there's something that you like good morning to patricia says good morning everybody i've just joined been doing a big pile of ironing I don't like ironing. I tend to wear things that don't need ironing. And then my husband does his own stuff. And occasionally, um, you know, 
my son might need a, a uniform iron and it just kind of looks at the iron and I think that's done, that's fine. Uh, good morning to Mary, she says good morning Natalie and everyone. Well I couldn't resist these prices so I've just ordered two of them. Thank you so much Mary, I really appreciate it. Obviously I know a lot of you will have bits and bobs in your stash and I hope we always give you a little bit of inspiration but when you buy our kits it means we can you know continue to to put these lovely different designs together for you and we can do these live so for every purchase we really do appreciate them thank you so much uh, Catherine says good morning from a windy Glen Rose that sounds Scottish are you in Scotland Catherine or I just got that completely wrong uh, good morning to Mina. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. I'm going to complain about the doctors and blood tests as I hate it. Bless you. I hope you're OK. I hope you get seen um, soon. You're just lucky if you can get an appointment, I think, aren't you? Um, Camille's going to let me off. So thank you, Camille. I appreciate that. Lucy's also asking, what is an iron? I don't know. Not too sure. Um, and... Camille says, it's the thing that sits in the cupboard. <laughs> You're all in a funny mood today, which I absolutely love. Right, let me take you down on the mat. It's not going to be a very long make today. You can make these in no time. So I'm just going to take you down so you can see the beautiful seed beads and you can see the gorgeous crystals and this lovely little spacer at the bottom. So you can see here on this space bar, it's got lovely little kind of, as I say, dappled effect. It's got a beautiful curve to it and that just lends itself so perfectly to a necklace but if you wanted to you could also use it as a bracelet you're getting enough in your case if you wanted to make a necklace and a bracelet that's you know you've got all the findings there as well so we're using these gorgeous little size 11 seed beads this is your hematite now obviously the hematite isn't going to be as vivid maybe as the pop of pink or the baby blue but look at the sparkle on them they catch the light so beautifully they are cut so lovely now i've decided i'm going to put mine this way but if you want to flip those crystals and you want those drops going in the other direction you can absolutely do that so we've got a really quite a long necklace for you today i might pop one on as well so you can see what it looks like on um, obviously you've seen them on the bus this one is your tanzanite and i don't think my computer is doing the justice to show that gorgeous subtle purple colour so you've got those gorgeous seed beads i'm just popping on 10 seed beads in between each one and then you've got those gorgeous gorgeous drops i really don't think that colour's coming across they look much darker on screen than they actually are they are just beautiful but because of the cut look there you go i think you can see an absolute stunner there can you see the kind of warm golds as well that's being picked up there they're just so beautiful we've got this beautiful pink fuchsia a gorgeous gorgeous pop of color and look again you've got those beautiful warm tones running through they're just so lovely and again, I think they all look absolutely gorgeous with those little details of the Tibetan space of our down at the bottom. Joy says it's windy in Peterborough, iron only patchwork. Um, Lucy says, oh, that little triangle thing that hasn't been out of the cupboard in the past six years. And Pauline agrees, my iron hardly ever sees the light today. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not alone. This one is the baby blue. Look at that. Look at the sparkles. I just love the kind of rainbow effect that you're getting in these ones. They're so beautiful. So you've got four gorgeous colours to choose from today. I mean, probably I should have, I don't know, let you choose which one you want me to demo with. But I'm going to do the hematite because I think that would look gorgeous with my jumper. So they're not quite black, but they are the most gorgeous colour. I'm very, very excited to be doing these today because they're really straightforward. 
And what I will say is they also look really nice if you want to double them up. So if you are getting two kits, if I can just bring you up very quickly again. Hi. I'm going to pop the tanzanite here with the hematite. And you can kind of double them over if you wanted to. You could mix your colours in between. Let's see, let's see. Oh, they might be pretty together as well. So this is your gorgeous pink. Again, I'll pop that one with the tanzanite. So you can see just how pretty they are if you wanted to kind of double over that look. Hello, Tutu. She says, hello, Natalie and everybody. And Camille says, yes, they all match your jumper as black goes with everything. Yeah, it does. And Lucy says, that pink looks so nice. So let's get down on the mat and let's get going. I have got my coffee with me today. So do excuse me if I stop occasionally just to have a little sip. So I'm going to start with my tiger tail. I've cut about 50 centimetres of my tiger tail. I'd like to create a lovely long necklace. I've already got it kind of curved into that shape. So as I know the design I'm going to be doing, I know how many I'm putting on where, then I am going to start from the end. But if you want to play around with the design, if you want to play around with the number of maybe the crystal drops or whatever you're using, you can always start from the middle. So start with your space of art if you want and work your way out. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to take my clot and thread that onto the end of my tiger tail. And I'm going to get out two of my crimp beads because I'm double crimping. All that means is instead of putting one crimp bead on, I'm popping two crimp beads on and that will fit nicely inside my calotte, but will also just give myself a little bit of extra kind of sturdiness and security when I'm attaching on my findings. So all I'm doing is I'm sliding that crimp bead right up to the end of my tiger tail, bringing the next one up so it's next to it and giving it a little push down just to flatten them out there. So when I slide up my calotte, I can place that those crimp beads inside the calotte, fold it over just to make sure that those little holes on my calotte are kind of lined up together and then just give it a little gentle push together with my pliers just to fasten that over. Um, Oh, that's a nice idea, Mina. She says, mine is out on a Sunday evening. She's talking about her eye in here with a few glasses of wine. Yeah, no, I think that's a nice idea. Or maybe put the radio on or do it in front of the TV or something. But I think if I was having a glass of wine, the chances are I would probably burn myself or manage to spill. I, I like a red wine and I wouldn't want to spill that all over the washing. <laughs> so... I've added on my clot. I'm now going to start adding on my crimp beads. So I want to start my crimp beads first. I'll pick one up here to show you. I'm going to add on 10, sorry, my seed beads. I'm going to add on 10 of my seed beads and then a beautiful crystal drop. 10 of my seed beads and a crystal drop. And I'm going to repeat that pattern until I've added nine of my gorgeous crystal drops onto that tiger tail, because I think that's a nice number. I'm then only gonna add five of my seed beads, which are the size 11s. Then I'm gonna slide on my beautiful spacer bar. I'm gonna add another five onto the end and then repeat the process in the opposite direction. So crystal, 10 seed beads, crystal drop, 10 seed beads, all the way back up until I've got, you know, it even and the same on both sides. So, off I go. You might hear me counting a little bit today while I'm threading these seed beads on, but they go on very, very easily. Um, I think they're a lovely size to use. And I'm just going to thread those on, push it up towards the top of that calotte and add on my first little crystal. So the way I'm putting my crystals on is with where it goes smaller at the top and wider at the bottom. So I'm putting it on that way. 
Have I put 10 on? I don't think I have. No, I haven't. Let's pop 10 on. I just like them evenly spaced in between. Um, so I, I'll, I'll measure it out. I think it's probably about two centimeters in distance. So you don't have to be exact with it if you don't want to. But you get loads of seed beads in your kits. So I think 10's quite a nice number. And on with the next. So I quite like to just pick them up with my fingers and just slide them onto the tiger tail. However, if you want to use your tiger tail like um, a needle, you can pop them down on your mat and you can just pick them up that way, whichever works for you. I don't think it takes particularly long to do it, whichever method you've got. So I'm going to pop 10 out again. Gosh, that wind is really picking up. I have a um, very, very large sycamore tree in the back garden. Uh, I absolutely love it. And um, we give it a bit of a haircut um, a couple of weeks ago. Not me personally, because it's massive. We got um, a tree surgeon in to do it. So I'm quite glad that we've, we've given it a good cut and shaping before this wind really because as I say it's very large and um, it, it does kind of overhang a lot of the um, gardens at the back so we obviously wanted to make sure our neighbours have enough light in their garden too but lovely I went to speak to my neighbours just to check they were okay with you know any of the work that was going on um, they've just had a gorgeous new baby boy and they're just lovely, really lovely couple, dead understanding. And we're just like, yeah, but please don't get rid of the tree. We love the tree. So it's nice to know it's um, it's well loved and thought of as well by the neighbours. Um, Camille saying, I didn't think you did. Didn't think I did what? What don't I do? Good morning, Sheila. Oh, didn't think I put on enough of the seed beads now. See, it's one of those I either chat away to you or you just watch me in silence while I'm counting them out. I should have probably laid little piles on the table um, before I started, but they'll only just ping away anyway. So I'm going to put 10 seed beads on again. Three. nine ten so it, it doesn't really matter exactly how many you put on you might want to make the spaces between them a little bit longer and then in that case you can use a lot more of the seed beads as i say you're getting lots of them in your kit but 10 seed beads will probably create a space of about two well no not quite one and a half centimeters so you've got that one and a half centimeter spacing in between each one let's let's pour little piles out there it was just quicker to just pop them down on the desk isn't it how are you doing today sheila are you well what have you been up to this week what are you working on at the moment everybody have you been making a particular design have you been doing one from our tutorials have you got anything particularly nice in your stash that you're looking forward to using have you got something in your stash that you don't know what to do with and you need a bit of inspiration drop us a comment let everybody kind of interact with each other and help each other out in terms of inspiration one two three four five six seven eight nine so I'm going to keep going with this until I've added nine of my crystal drops. And all I would say is if you're going to put them this way or that way, just make sure that in fact, you could alternate them. 
and do them like that that would look quite nice but just make sure whatever you do on one side you do on the other side of your necklace so when you pop your spacer um, bar in the middle down the bottom that you follow the same pattern I think would, would look more appealing to the eye um, oh Angela says we're camping in Grand Town on Spey and it was very interesting last night with the wind I haven't been camping for ages, absolute ages and ages. Um, but I do recall one occasion um, long before I had my son, um, me and my husband went and we pitched our tent and we, we pitched it just below kind of like a little hill, which was probably just as well because if we'd have been on the hill, we'd have blown away. The wind picked up in the middle of the night and the tent was just getting absolutely battered we had to put like our rucksacks up against it just to stop it from completely collapsing in um and when we woke up in the morning everybody else on the campsite had left so unless it was you know a, a, a motorhome or something that they had if they'd been in a tent they'd literally had to leave in the middle of the night and we we stuck it out <laughs> it was a lovely fine day the following day but it was quite an adventure it was definitely memorable because i do remember that trip particularly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you ever um, get things out of like when you're making? So, for example, if you're doing this and you just happen to pick up the the amount that you need, sometimes I'm doing that. If I'm making something with pins and I'll think I'll need, say, eight pins, I'll pull out like the ball pins out of my packet and I'll have got exactly eight out I think if you do it enough sometimes you can tell by weighting your fingers um becomes a little bit automatic at the moment I seem to be just collecting nine so I have to keep counting six seven eight nine ten so as I say you don't have to be putting 10 on each one I just like to have um, a similar a similar amount in between I think it just looks nicely spaced Lucy says I don't go camping <laughs> where do you go the toilet um, well they usually have them on site Lucy but you can get travel toilets as well if you need to in the middle of the night they have like a bucket underneath um, I don't know, they've invented all sorts of wondrous technolo technologies and facilities and things now. Um, but no, I've, we've not been just because obviously having a little one, he, I just, he'll be obsessed with the zip, I'll never keep him in. Um, I think we could do with a little bit more space now. But I always used to kind of double do the double rule so if you had a two-man tent that was really enough for one person if you had a four-man tent then that was enough for, for two people um always double the space but our tent was it was more glamping than it was camping because it used to have like a little wardrobe and you used to say this is the living room area it used to have like separate sides to it it was very nice um, it'll need a, a good clean I think if we were ever to take it back out again it's been bagged up and probably in the loft for quite a few years now right so once I've added on my nine crystals let's just count I've got nine on there one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm just going to add on five seed beads So I'm adding half of the amount that I have been doing and then I'm going to get my absolute beautiful little spacer bar out. Now what I would suggest you do is before you start just pop maybe a little bit of wire. This is just a piece of tiger tail here. Um, and just run it through to make sure there's no kind of blockages in it. They are absolutely beautiful because they've got this antique silver look to them. Sometimes a little bit of the coating can get stuck in the hole. If that happens, 
take a little bit of wire or maybe a needle or a pin and just kind of push through just a tiny little bit just to check that you can easily get your tiger tail through there. Um, Camille says, I've never camped in my 71 years of life. It's not for everybody. Um, Tracy says she's been cro crocheted, crocheting, I can't speak today, a beanie for her dad um, and she's now back to beading again. I hope you've enjoyed making something a little bit different. Um, and Francis is saying, good morning, everybody. Sorry, I'm a bit late this morning. Not to worry. We are doing the Zoe necklace today, Francis. So they're very straightforward to do. Beautiful little size 11 seed beads, gorgeous crystal drops, and these beautiful little spacer bars. So this is going to be the bottom and center of my um, necklace. And I'm just going to do exactly the same, working my way back up again. Now, don't forget, you're getting enough to make two of these. So if you don't have enough crystals for your second one, you can space them out again with more seed beads, or you can make yourself a bracelet. You're going to have a lot in your kit um, and this is quite a long necklace so you might just want to make two smaller ones and um, Mina says no camping for her either each to their own isn't it I think obviously when we had lockdown um, a lot of us were unable to holiday and travel abroad so um, a lot of people were more likely to vacation at home or staycation as it was is referred to so i think a lot of people got the bug we would absolutely love a caravan or a motorhome but it's just the expense that we don't have at the minute but there you go and i just think well he's little it'll be a nice opportunity to kind of make more of the weekends and time together um so i have booked one for his birthday which is at the end of march um because he's he's obsessed with them my son so we thought we'd rather than have a birthday party, we'll have a little little break away together instead. So five more seed beads on to the opposite side and then back on with my drop. And then again, I'm just going to add 10 in the middle and then another drop until I've added nine and worked my way back up to the top of the tiger tail. The only problem with picking them up like this is that I could have done with lint rolling my mat again because I'm getting little bits of fluff. But if you want to pick them up like a needle, just get your tiger tail and slide it on. But I tend to find I fire them away when I do it that way. Good morning, Claire, how are you doing? And Angela's put kids love camping. I just, when I was little, we didn't do camping, but my auntie had a caravan and I think it was only in Southport, which from where I lived at the time in Liverpool really isn't far away at all. But I used to feel like we were going like the other end of the world. It was just so lovely. And there was a little kind of pump outside where you, like a well where you'd go and collect your fresh drinking water and just go in to get the water and fill in like the kettle up with the tap would just, I would just get really excited. It's the simple things. Um, so yeah, I do. I think kids like being outdoors, don't they? So it's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do think if I'm going to make something um, like this again on a live, it's not very exciting for you to sit and just watch me count my Toho um, size 11 seed beads out. So I will put them into little clusters in the future so I can just pick them up and know how many's on there. I apologise. Um, I could practice my languages, couldn't I? I could count in different language. <laughs> so I'm not going to be too exact. If I do miscount, I'm, 
I'm not too concerned. Um, I just want there or thereabouts, about a centimetre and a half in between my lovely little drops. Ooh, Joy says, we had a touring caravan but got rid at the start of the pandemic. Miss it, but health issues stopped us. Yeah, I think they serve their purpose for their time, don't they? Um, Kev, Tracy says, we've got a caravan set up on a site to go whenever we want and it's great. My sister has two um, and she's there actually at the moment with, with my nieces. Um, I think you just make them more, as I say, of like school holidays and, and weekends and things. It kind of breaks stuff up a little bit, doesn't it? If you can if you can just hop in the car and, and, and go to a little campsite somewhere. Um. <laughs> Mina says you can get Frank to count beads for you. That's my son. I can indeed. He loves numbers. He's just obsessed with numbers and maths and counting and things at the moment he's he doesn't get it from me he obviously gets that from his dad because he's he's very very good he wakes me up every morning and he's like mom and i'm like yeah he's like what is six plus six plus and i'm like oh, I'm trying to count on my fingers trying to work out his sums two three four five six. well he's out at the moment he's gone to nanny's again today because he's still on half term so um yeah i don't think he's i don't think he's ready for a live just yet <laughs> that'll do <laughs> uh sharon says i've got a static caravan on the east coast can just jump in the car and go i'm so jealous oh okay right so camille's gonna help me in cantonese Gosh, yum, he, Sam, say, how do I pronounce that? Ng, look, tout, bot, gal, sup. You could have had me saying absolutely anything then, Camille. <laughs> That's a risky thing to do, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It worked. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I apologise if I really completely mispronounced those um, numbers. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Again, you'll have me saying all sorts. And um, I don't want to be blocked off YouTube or Facebook. Um, I've had quite a little bit of an issue at the moment. So if you are sharing anything in the handmade group, um, I'm able at the moment to like it and, and love it and react to your post, but I'm not allowed to comment in any groups at the moment. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what has happened is um, I have been thanking people who have taken the time to vote for me um, in a competition that I've been in. And because I really want to take the time to respond to every single person who has taken the time to do that, um, Facebook thinks I am a robot uh, and some sort of spam. So I was blocked out yesterday for suspicious activity and after a lot of kind of jumping through security hurdles and they was able to get my account and my pages back up, which is a relief because I'm sure a lot of you, you know, if you sell your, your makes and your jewellery, then unless you've got a bricks and mortar shop, you rely very heavily on things like social media um so for me you know it's my business it's enabling me to be able to speak to you all interact with you all um do what i love and um i know it's happened to quite a few people so they you know may have lost like thousands of followers if if they lose their page in the group so i was 
beyond relieved when I was able to get back in. Um, but as I say, they think I'm some sort of robot for the amount of people I've said thank you to, I think. So they've they've forbidden me from commenting in any groups at the moment. I don't know how long it will last for. It couldn't have come at a worse time. It could be, you know, 24 hours. It could be 30 days. I honestly don't know. So um, if you have sent me any well, well wishes if you have um been kind enough to vote for me if you have sent me any messages whatsoever about absolutely anything please please don't think I'm, I'm being rude um by not responding um to you i'm i'm just taking deep breaths and just hoping everything will be back up and running um elaine is Oh no, Lucy's saying, I can count to 10 in Punjab. Well, how lovely. Um, so, oh, Camille is telling me there was an autocorrect, so I've definitely pronounced something wrong. Um, and Elaine is asking, what type of beads are the big ones I'm using? So these lovely little crystal drops that we've got here are eight by 11 millimeters so you're getting a string of those they're really 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 gorgeous they're just called crystal drop eight by 11 millimeters these ones are the hematite ones but obviously we've got them in baby blue you've got that beautiful pink color all the tanzanite to choose from as well thank you so much angela i really 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 appreciate it thank you claire i really 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 appreciate it mina's saying she can count to 10 in hindi and how do i pronounce that Gu gujarati Oh, I'm so awful at my pronunciations. <laughs> um, yeah, Lucy's saying Facebook can be very sensitive with things like that. Um, oh, Angela can count. Oh, in double Dutch. What are you like? <laughs> um, what can I, I probably, I can count in Spanish, be able to count in French. I can count in German. Um, I used to be able to do a little bit of Japanese just literally like one to five I don't think I can remember it now um so yeah I would like I always say this I'd love to be able to speak a lot more languages I'm lucky if I can even like you know if I count in English which is my my first and native tongue I will absolutely still miscount so let's see one two Three and etoile, eins by dry, via, boom, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> so all I've done is I've put ten little beautiful size 11 sea beads in lots of different languages all the way around i've got my one two three four five six seven eight nine crystals on either side my beautiful little spacer in the middle with five seed beads either side and i've cut about 50 centimeters of my tiger tail there so i'm gonna add on my clot again <laughs> Claire said, I can count to nine in German. I forgot ten. Zane, I think. Um, oh, thank you very, 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 very much, Lucy. I appreciate that. Thank you, Tito. I really appreciate that. So on with the collot that I've got. And then I'm going to add in my first of my crimp beads. I'm going to come in with my pliers. And I'm going to give it a little push down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the shape of my necklace on my mat or my table so i've got that lovely curve running through it and then that way i'm going to get the right tension i'm going to add on another one of my crimp beads and giving that one a little flattened down as well 
So by just giving it a little gentle crush together, it's going to grip that tiger tail in place. And then I can just trim off the end of the tiger tail, close over my clot again. And then again with my pliers, just going to give that a little gentle push together to kind of seal that over. And all I've got to do now is add on my findings. So in your kit, you're going to get four of your um, six millimetre prints. You only need two for this one necklace, but there's enough to make two in there. And I'm also using a 12 millimetre lobster clasp. Um, I know, Judith. I know. It's, ju it's just one of those things. Um, Esther says, good morning, everyone. Late as usual. It's trying to rain, but the sun is fighting uh, to get here. Well, then you might have a lovely rainbow, Esther. That would be nice. So I'm going to open up my um, little jump ring. I'm going to slide on my little collot. And then I'm going to, sorry, my lobster clasp. I don't know what's up with me today. I can't count. I can't speak, I can't pronounce words, and then the words I am using, I'm just using the wrong one. <laughs> I just put my lobster clasp on, and then my other little jump ring on the other side. So when I attach this together, I'm literally just going to slide that on through. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm going to wear it for you, so you can see how it sits and how it's positioned. Um, you're all so sweet. Thank you so much. Mina says, I might try this with green and gold drop crystals. Ooh. Right. So, again, I've got wonky shoulders. It's only when I put my necklaces on and I'm looking on camera that I'm like, why am I like this? So I, I, I'm wonky, but your necklace won't be. It's just gorgeous. I think the way they catch the light on those crystals is just really, really elegant. This little Tibetan space of art at the bottom is gorgeous. And I just love the curve that it's got in there. Um, so if you are looking to buy your kits today, head over to the website totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash Zoe dash necklace. They've been reduced by a pound. So they're all five pound 99. I think you've got a little bit more expensive with that gorgeous baby blue, which is six pound 99. But I think for making up two necklaces, you know, bargain. Um, Camille says wonky, but we still love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> much appreciated. So she's giving me all the hearts. Um, Amelia, thank you so much. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it's been lovely to be with you. I hope you're all excited about uh, the weekend ahead. Um, bless. Lucy, that's not going to happen. Um, so a lot of people in the comments are being very, very kind and um, talking about the competition that I'm in and how to vote from me. You can find how to vote for me on my uh, pages on Natalie Patton, Wire Artist. Um, Lucy's even been kind enough to share it as well. Um, Judith says she really likes the hematite one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, please, if you can, I'd be much appreciative. It doesn't cost a penny. It's just a couple of seconds to click on a link. Um, and, you know, if I'm lucky enough, then I get to um, see a collection that I've designed be actually made and all you gorgeous jewellery makers um, would be able to make with them, which is just so exciting. Um, so thank you so much for that. Thank you for all the support that you always give me. Thank you for coming here um, three times a week to be with us and play with some gorgeous, gorgeous beads. Next week on Monday, I'm going to be making some earrings with you. Um, as we did the lovely necklaces, was that on Monday where we used the pins? Um, I quite like the fact that you can use a very kind of general, fundamental staple of, of, of you know, piece of material like a, a head pin or, a, a you know, a jump ring and kind of create something with those materials to, to use a design with those materials that wouldn't necessarily be 
what they're traditionally used for. So the earrings that I'm going to do with you on Monday is kind of using that idea again. We're going to be using something to make, I think, really straightforward, but very, very lovely um, earrings. So please join me on Monday for that. Elaine says, thank you. Thanks, Natalie. A gorgeous make. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, Sheila, you do too. She says, thanks, Natalie. You brighten up my day. Well, whether it's sunny outside or not, you always brighten mine as well, Sheila. Um, good night to you too. I hope you have sweet dreams. Um, Camille says, thank you for another fun make today. Stay safe and have a great weekend, everyone. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Thank you, Claire. Um, I love you millions. Thank you so much. Mina says she can't wait for next week's tutorial because we're using crystal beads. Uh, I do hope you like it. Um, Angela, sending waves and love back to you. Um, and I love you lots, Lucy. So thank you so much for being with me today. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I'm excited already to see you next week. So roll on one day. Take